Hey everyone, Acid here, back at it again with another manga review. This time reviewing Silver Plan to Redo from JK, which is by Lim Dal Young, as well as uh, Lee Hyu Sung on art. Uh, this series started in 2020, and it's a very interesting series in that it seems like the creators are actually from South Korea, and they've actually created a manga, not a webtoon, that seems to be doing... It's fairly popular in Japan, and actually even got a live-action adaptation. Um, an actual like television series. So very interesting. Um, this manga is one of those kind of like slice of life. Um, it has a little bit of a fantasy sci-fi twist to it, which it, it's very minor. Um, it's one of those series where it's very wholesome and I actually enjoy it. And it's all about second chances, right? Like a second chance to redo your entire life and to become a better person and to change the outcome of not only your family's life, but your life, right? And the life of people that you met throughout your high school days that you were absolutely crappy to um, when you were a different person, when you were a bad person. And I like that. I like stories about second chances. The art is really good. I think that a lot of the conversations can be pretty wholesome. A lot of the um, events that happen throughout the story are very wholesome. And our main character, Sayori Ni Nino Miya, um, she is like this affluent uh, woman who is part of this very rich family who is, despite uh, giving a second chance to go back in time and essentially change her life, she's kind of dumb. <laughs> like, she's silly dumb. Uh, when she was, when in her original life, she acted like a spoiled brat. She was a B-I-C-T-H to everybody. Um, she was really mean and abusive to a lot of people. And then now, going back, she has like this just bubbly nice persona or not persona but personality that comes from years of hardship and years of just everything blowing up in her face and her uh her life pretty much crumbling in the future and so she's almost like a completely different person in that she doesn't want like she doesn't put on this air of i'm better than you anymore she just becomes wholesome and she becomes nice and she still has the memories of being a terrible person and it kind of propels her forward to step outside of her comfort zone and do the right thing. Now, there's three like interesting slices to this story in that her family suffers due to Japan's economic bubble collapsing. Um this happened in the 90s and you know, her family loses all their wealth and she kind of struggles throughout her life. Um you know, she tries to kind of get married into a rich family, but because of like she's lost everything, people and men just use her for sex and then just kind of give her up. Um, it, which leads her to eventually just becoming homeless because she kind of has no skills. She didn't do well in school. You know, her family just paid for her to kind of get through school. She has no real skills. She couldn't get a job. And the jobs that she did have working construction or working uh, customer service at a convenience store kind of fell through because people would just treat her like crap. And, you know, like eventually she kind of aged. She aged out of her kind of like, you know, like uh, golden years, I guess you could say. And, uh, you know, people would call her like old hag and all these stuff. And, you know, she just went through kind of like a lot of abuse <laughs> for decades of just abuse and, and um, you know, eventually becoming homeless. And so it teaches her a lot of stuff. But what's interesting about this story that I'm not going to spoil, but I'll just throw it out there, is the fact that, yes, she's redoing her life. But she's also redoing the life of her her parents and her grandfather in particular, who is part of this political sphere in Japan, who gets caught into a controversy that he was seemingly set up and, you know, that's how he loses all his wealth and, and, and you know, her family's wealth. And so what, she, what, what Sayuri does is that, yes, she goes back in time and she starts teaching her parents how to be more frugal and how to not throw away food, you know, how to eat food, even though it's past its expiration date, you know, take, don't take for granted all of the stuff that we have. But she also starts to kind of investigate who is setting up her grandfather, like what happened, like what is he involved in? That causes the family to collapse and it's an interesting aspect because she's really really ditzy and dumb and silly and she's trying to get involved in this political aspect and people kind of like attribute a lot of things to her that are just you know her having really good luck and a really positive attitude and it's really funny um the only con that i have for the series is that because it is a slice of life series and because it is you know like it it, it doesn't really have like intense events like a show in wood in terms of battles or like fights and, and things like that it obviously has to rely on a lot of narration and a lot of dialogue there are times where like you you know you you they're talking about like politics and ec economy and economics and 
it just, you know, it gets boring um, because of the fact that it's just so much dialogue, so much narration thrown at you. So if you're looking for something that's a bit of a casual read, I would suggest I would suggest this, but just know going in that it's like you have to really kind of focus a little bit and really take in a lot of the dialogue. And obviously through the dialogue and through the the way that characters are drawn and their facial reactions, you're going to get a lot of comedy. You're going to get a lot of comedic events. But just know that, yes, there are times where it feels like the pacing is really slow because they have to explain like this economic collapse that's kind of incoming um, just due to the economy bubbling. So, you know, there's a lot of that. And I think that's my only real con uh, for the series. I think that the series touches on a lot of very wholesome events and how she uh, really changes people's lives and, and, and the course of their destiny because she becomes more involved. Um, you know, there's it, it does deal with a lot of um, very mature subject matters like alcoholism, like your parents or, or a parent throwing away uh, the livelihood of their family because they have a an alcohol addiction and a gambling addiction it deals with a attempted sexual assault you know from girls kind of going into clubs and and you know being laced by by creepy older men and things like that like there are a lot of those aspects that it kind of takes into consideration that are still things to this day that people deal with on a daily and i think that what's more interesting about these series is that it's in the 90s so like you know it's a little bit harder um to like they have to take into consideration the time period right like there are cell phones but most people kind of like use pagers you know like the internet is a thing but it's there's no social media things like that you know or like social media is just starting it's very interesting um that aspect it's very much kind of like a time capsule of a show that's pretty much it for this spoiler free review guys as always i will catch you on the next one i'm not going to do a spoiler section mostly because the series is pretty straightforward, like I said, in terms of the fact that it's about this girl from the future who gets sent back into the past to change her life. And she does that by getting involved with people that she used to be mean to and actually hearing them out and actually helping them through their trauma and their struggles. And throughout it, she gets, you know, friends, things that she's never had before. She does. I think she does is is slash does start to get kind of like a romantic interest, but it's been very downplayed. And it just becomes like this thing where she starts to change her life and actually become a better person and maybe become somebody who can, in fact, inherit like this family fortune and become this very powerful woman in the political sphere of Japan, which is very interesting. And that's pretty much it. Like, there's no real details that I can give here. Obviously, yes, there are. But I want you guys to go out and experience this yourselves. Um, it's a very great manga. I highly recommend it. Silver Plan to Redo from JK. Please check it out. As always, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace.